Great to see everybody on a Friday. For, for those of you that are first timers, even, uh, even though we've been doing this for eight years, uh, let me just tell you, this is my favorite part of the week. It's our chance as a community, and for me as the mayor and the citizens of Albuquerque to say thank you to our, our heroes that work in, a, in the fire and police departments. It's a chance to say thank you to our great civic employees and some of the 6,000 people that get up every day and make Albuquerque great. And then also today we have some good Samaritans that we're going to be talking about. So this is a lot of fun. And I want to thank everybody for bringing your families. You know, this is not an overly formal thing. This is a celebration of you and your work and the fact that you brought your, your kiddos and you brought your, looks like you got maybe some parents or even some, some grandparents with us today. That's a good thing. Do not hesitate to bring your family up uh, when it's time to, to come up and get your award because this is a, this is a, a celebration of everybody. So let's kick it right off. So we have an Employees of the Week, we have Friday's Heroes, and then we also have a Good Samaritan Award today. Thanks again to the media for coming. I uh, really appreciate you helping us highlight people. Today we're recognizing as our Employee of the Week, uh, Cindy Cisneros. So Cindy and Bruce and uh, uh, maybe even uh, Roger, come on up and we'll, we'll talk about... We'll talk about Cindy here a little bit. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. We'll tell you. We'll, we'll tell you why our veterans liaison's up here in just a minute. Today we're recognizing Cindy Cisneros for playing a key role in the hiring of a number of veterans uh, at ABQ Ride. Cindy's responsible for recruiting and hiring employees to work in the department. Some of which include. Uh, security officers, motor coach operators, uh, customer service representatives. It's pretty big, pretty complex uh, uh, department. In 2012, Roger Newell, who's right here, uh, who is my veterans liaison, uh, created uh, with us here in the mayor's office a veterans preference hiring system uh, at the city of Albuquerque because we want to be able to honor veterans for their service. And we, we, we believe that, and I believe as the mayor, if you're willing to serve your country, you would be a great employee at the city of Albuquerque. So we wanted to break some of the barriers down for our veterans. So in support of this initiative, Cindy began looking for eligible veterans to work in the transit department as part of the, her normal recruitment process. Her efforts to identify individuals who have served in military requires that she collaborates with representative, uh, representatives outside of the transit department, one being uh, New Mexico Workforce Solutions. The New Mexico Workforce Connection is a state agency that participates with the U.S. Department of Labor's Jobs for Veterans State Grant Program. The program helps employers build their workforce capability with job-seeking veterans along with pro provisions of occupational services. Her collaborative efforts with the agency have resulted in the hiring of 22 veterans. So she's gone out there, she's found 22 veterans, she shepherded them into the city of Albuquerque. Uh, Roger uh, knocked down some barriers, if you'll remember what we did. Um, we, we basically guaranteed you an interview if you're a veteran. And why is that important? Because we have tens of thousands of people each year that apply for project or for work at the city of Albuquerque, and only about 8% of them actually get an interview. And without an interview, it's pretty tough to get the job. So we basically moved our veterans to the front of the line and guaranteed them those interviews. In total, since 2012, we've actually now hired 391 veterans uh, through this program and by putting them uh, first in line. So according to the Jobs for Veterans State Grants Program, Cindy has been uh, instrumental personally in recruiting and facilitating the hiring of these veterans. Uh, she also helps them uh, with their resumes, which is a, a difficult thing to put together if you've never done one or if you haven't done one for a while. She um, helps the agency staff to recognize the work of veterans uh, and how that translates into marketable skills that they can put on their resumes. And, and by going the extra mile and working with uh, Workforce Connections uh, and the Department of Veterans Affairs, she's really making a difference in a lot of people's lives. In turn, the state agency's representatives recommend potential candidates to Cindy. So she's got a really good network uh, going forward. So bottom line, um, Cindy's taken our call to action seriously. She's bringing veterans into the Veterans Affairs Department. She is lifting them up, honoring their commitment to our country, putting them in place, working with another one of our uh, key employees, Roger, to make sure that we're breaking those barriers down. So not only have we you know, hired the 391 veterans of the city, but 22 of them are transit. And that makes me feel great about what you're doing. And uh, it's the right thing to do. And I want to say congratulations. We'll have Bruce say a few words, and then I'll, uh, I'll give you the award here in just a minute. So Bruce, Bruce Waziri, our transit director. Thank you, Mayor. Well, good morning. Just real quick, 
This is another great example of what has happened in the past eight years with the city of Albuquerque government. Uh, relationships between the mayor's office and individual departments, very aggressive uh, solicitation of qualified individuals to work in the city jobs. If you can serve our country, you serve the citizens of Albuquerque, and I'm very proud that we have 22 veterans working in the transit department and I'm very proud of the city's efforts to go out there and many extra efforts for resumes and using the computer, how you go online to, um, to even get your name into the queue. So this has been a great effort and Cindy, thanks again. Thanks, Cindy. We appreciate it. And so, what we have, we have a Friday, or we have an employee of the week mug, uh, so you can drink your coffee if that's your choice. We also have a certificate, and the certificate reads as follows uh, This certificate is awarded to Cindy Cisneros from our transit department on behalf of the entire city of Albuquerque. I, Richard J. Berry, mayor of the city, thank you for your public service and your dedication. Your actions exceeded the call of duty and went beyond normal expectations, and so for the entire week of September 25th, you are entitled to all the privileges set forth by the Office of the Mayor as Employee of the Week. We also have a, a letter that goes in your personnel file for future use as you as you look towards promotions and other things. Uh, the good guy letter, we call it. Good guy, good, good, good person letter. And I just want to say thank you so much. And the fact that you're in HR uh, at all is a difficult work. And, and the fact that you're in charge of recruiting and those things, uh, we appreciate you very much and congratulations. Thank you. you. All right, so next we're recognizing as Friday's Heroes, Albuquerque Police Department Officer Timothy Wolfbrandt, Telecommunications Operator John Walker, and Crime Scene Specialist Sarah Oates, as well as Assistant District, District Attorney Francesca Bardicke. Is Bardicke correct? Yes, that's correct. There you are, are you right there? Uh, and Immigration Attorney Michael Hendricks, as Good Samaritans uh, this week. This exceptionally kind group of professionals are being awarded for their generous gifts and kind gestures uh, for numerous victims of property crimes in our community. In June of 2016, while working at the Valley Area Command, Officer Wolf Brent responded to a service call reporting that an 87-year-old woman's television had been stolen. Upon arrival, the woman, uh, Miss Begay, I don't know if Miss Begay's here today, I don't think she is, uh, explained to the officer that she was on a fixed income and that she was not able to purchase herself a new television. She went on to explain that while a TV was not much for most people, it kept her company and because she was often alone. Officer Wolf Brandt moved with sympathy uh, for Begay, decided to find a way to help. After receiving approval from his supervisor, he left Miss Begay's home and purchased a brand new TV with his own money. And we've heard this story time and time again. I don't know how many stories I've told you about APD officers and firefighters who have reached into their own pocket to, to, to buy somebody something. When he returned to install it, he realized that it wouldn't work without an antenna. And because he knew telecommunications operator Walker uh, would be interested in also helping the woman, Officer Wolfbrandt asked if he would uh, be able to buy her an antenna. So Walker took the call, finished his shift, purchased the antenna, and returned to Begay's home with Officer Wolf Brandt to set up her new TV. So stop for a second, you know, paint, paint a picture in your mind of what that, what that looked like and how, how neat that is. Five months later, Officer Wolf Brandt took another residential burglary call. Once, the victims res at the re once at the victim's residence, he learned that the 15-year-old daughter of the homeowner was the first to arrive home to find her camera and laptop had been stolen. The pictures on the teenage the, the pictures on the teenage uh, aspiring photographer's laptop uh, were of great sentimental value to her. Officer Wolf Brandt contacted uh, Walker and explained the young woman's uh, situation. Again, the gentlemen were motivated to help the victim, this time involving our crime scene specialist, Ms. Oates. You're one of the new crime scene specialists, correct? Newish. Fairly. Newish? Great. The APD team combined their money to give the teenager a gift card uh, of over $100 towards the purchase of a new camera. This past February, Officer Wolf Brandt responded to another call where a victim was an expectant woman reported that she and her husband had bur burglarized that week um, once on her birthday. Moved again by the victim's situation, Officer Wolf Brandt, uh, Walker, and Oates decided to act, now enlisting the help of Assistant DA Bardicke. Collectively, the compassionate team gave the mom and dad to be a gift card to help replace their stolen items. Additionally, they purchased party supplies um, and baked the woman. He actually baked the cake. That's awesome. <laughs> when DA's Office Communications Director Michael Patrick learned about the group's kind acts, he produced a YouTube video celebrating these events. 
APD has made uh, available also on YouTube little lapel camera footage capturing the compassionate group's good deeds. It was after helping the parents to be that the team coined the term Love Your Neighbor Project to memorialize their efforts. In a final example of their selflessness, last month, Officer Wolfbrandt responded to a call that took place at the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Alejandro Alex Marquez reported to Officer Wolfbrandt that a thief had stolen approximately $9,000 worth of uh, AV and computer equipment, only leaving behind the church's podium, which the, chief, which the thief had attempted but failed to steal, and the church's piano was left behind. Officer Wolf Brant Walker Oates gave Alex a $130 gift card, uh, while Oates kindly backed uh, baked cookies for the for the church. When Wolf Brant's wife Lily explained to Hendricks, her employer at an attorney's office, that the church had been burglarized, he also pitched in and gifted the church $100 to help them through their loss. So this isn't obviously Officer Wolf Brant's uh, first Friday's heroes. Um, recognizing for going above and beyond the service to his uh, community. Uh, past December, I awarded him for replacing a 12-year-old's bike that had been stolen, and the media covered that. Thank you for doing that. So Officer Wolfbrand explained that Love Your Neighbor Project is not officially a program that, uh, that APD has, but through word of mouth and among a team of generous individuals, they've now been able to kind of do a grassroots campaign and to be able to support victims of property crime when they're in difficult situations. The team of the Love Your Neighbors Project has identified a strategy to elevate those affected by crime in order to help them through their experience of being victimized. And so for all those reasons, and that was a lot, um, <laughs> Officer Timothy Wolfbrandt, Telecommunications Operator John Walker, Crime Scene Specialist Sarah Oates are being recognized as this week's Friday's Heroes, and Assistant District Attorney Francesca Bardicke and Attorney Michael Hendricks are being recognized as this week's Good Samaritans. I'm going to have... Uh, Bob Huntsman come up here in just a minute and tell you about some of our APD officers and then we're going to distribute some Friday's Heroes coins here in just a moment. Chief. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> so on behalf of the Albuquerque Police Department and Chief Gordon Eden, who couldn't be here this morning, we we really want to s extend a heartfelt thank you to Officer Wolf Brandt and, and everybody involved in this. Um, the emergency communication staff in the DA's office, our CSS, is it, it's incredible how well we all work together now. Um, sorry, that probably wouldn't call for. Um, but this is just another example of the, the good acts that the Albu Albuquerque Police Department, the DA's office, our, our uh, local attorneys, how we all get together to help. I just can't thank you enough. I mean, obviously, this isn't his first time, but he really shows what the true heart of APD and the city of Albuquerque is, along with the DA's office. And to our telecommunication staff, uh, they're the most underappreciated, overworked people that we have in the department. And for you to go that extra step is just incredible. And I'm still waiting for my cookie, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you very much. Uh, it, your good deeds do not go unnoticed, and we really appreciate you. So thank and I'm you. Gonna, thank you. I'm going to do something unscripted. Would you, would you say a couple things? You're such a cool dude, man. <laughs> would, you, would, you, would you just say, would you just talk about this just a little bit? Okay. I'm sorry to put, he has no idea he was going to speak. Now he's, look at him, he's all sweating now. Just, just say a couple things, man. You're such an inspiration for us, you know. Uh. <laughs> I, I really don't know what to say. Um, I just think we all want to help people, so everyone's been looking for an outlet for it. And, once you start talking to people, you start realizing everyone really has the same goal. And um, I'm just really happy that I've started to connect with people that have the same goal, too. So <laughs> That's great, <laughs> Thank man. You. Thank you so much. Who'd you bring, who'd you, who's the boss? Oh, this is little Derek. Derek. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for bringing him and the family. So, so what we do each week, you've seen this before, but we do a, a, a commission of Friday's Heroes coin. And it says it's the Mayor's Public Safety Heroes Award. And it says police, fire, and emergency management. And what this is really, it's a challenge coin. It's just a small token of our appreciation uh, to, to our, our public safety professionals. Uh, they get up every day. They risk their lives. Um, they, they go out there and they work hard for our families and our businesses. They protect us and our property. And, uh, and they're working hard. I mean, they're, they're, they're working really, really hard for you out there. So it's just for, from us to you, a small token of our appreciation with our gratitude. And uh, we just thank you so much. And the third one's going, I'm looking 
right, mm -hmm. right, right here. And uh, especially like, like, like the Chief said, you know, nobody's more popular than a plumber on a Sunday, right? Um, and nobody's more popular than the IT people when you're broken down and, and, and your stuff can't work. And, and so you, you are underappreciated <laughs> until we need you, and then you're like the most appreciated person uh, that we have. And for our two uh, Good Samaritans, uh, we have coffee mugs, Thank and I'll you. hand these out to each of you in just a minute. But let me read what it says. This is to Francesca uh, Bardicky. And it says, on behalf of the entire city of Albuquerque, I, Richard J. Berry, Mayor of Albuquerque, thank you for your dedication to the citizens of our community. You've been granted this award because you have displayed an extraordinary level of care and compassion, caring for your fellow neighbor. Um, so once again, we thank, thank you, you so for your much. work really uh, in the DA's it. office as well. So important, important work. Our partnerships uh, with the DA's office are going to be instrumental in us getting crime under control in the city. And they've got a heavy, heavy lift over there right now. Uh, but you're doing great work. We thank you for that. Thank and, you sir, I'll, I've got yours it's as well to you right here. And uh, this, uh, this basically, I won't reread it, but it says the same thing for, for Michael Hendricks. So, Michael, we appreciate you, thank you and all you're doing. And uh, there's that. And then uh, stay caffeinated, my friend. <laughs> so stick around. The media may want to, uh, may want to talk to, uh, to some of you. But thank you so much for all that you're doing. And uh, be safe out there. Thank God bless you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Our star of the day is Brianna Barella. Hello. Say hi, B. Say hi. And she is our Good Samaritan today. And she looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, isn't she gorgeous? Last, we're recognizing Brianna for donating more than one foot of her hair to Locks of Love. Locks of Love, as you may know, is a nonprofit organization that creates and gives away hair pieces to individuals uh, who are under the age of 21. Recipients of the hair pieces uh, mostly suffer from hair loss due to radiation treatment for cancer, and in some cases, their hair loss is permanent. This past summer, Brianna, who's how old? Five? Five. Yep, five. Brianna's five, watched a cartoon with a character of a girl with short hair. Because she admired the cartoon's hairstyle, she explained to her mom, Ashley, who's with us here today, that she wanted to cut her long hair. At that point, Brianna's hair had grown well past her waist. The, uh, her mom considered uh, the request and questioned uh, Brianna if she would consider donating her hair to Locks of Love. Ashley explained to Brianna that Locks of Love would take her donated hair and turn it into a hair piece and give it to another little girl who was suffering from an illness that caused her hair to fall out. Before Ashley went through cutting Brianna's long hair, she searched the internet for videos um, about another little girl's donating her hair to Locks of Love. So the mother and daughter combination found and watched that YouTube video showcasing a little girl who is also five years old uh, putting on her hairpiece for the first time. Brianna enjoyed watching the little girl become very excited and seeing how the hairpiece boosted her self-confidence. So in July, Ashley cut 16 inches of Brianna's hair, uh, then sent it off to Locks of Love. So in appreciation of Brianna's compassionate deed, the charitable organization provided Brianna with a certificate of appreciation in recognition of her selflessness and dedication to support their cause. So Brianna participates in the City of Albuquerque's Emerson Pre-Kindergarten Center program. It's one of our great programs that we have at the City of Albuquerque, and sometimes people don't realize how many great programs we have, after school programs, before school programs for kids. Brianna's pre-kindergarten teacher, Chantel Garcia, Yes? Yes. Uh, thank you for doing what you do for the city. Was so touched by Brianna's actions that she nominated her for today's Good Samaritan Award. So recently, Brianna explained to her mom that because she enjoyed donating her hair to little girls who lost theirs, she wanted to continue to grow her hair long to again at some time in the future donate to Locks of Love. So for all of these reasons, and just the fact that you look like an awesome, awesome person, um, Brianna Barella is being recognized as this week's Good Samaritan Award. And if you've forgotten, 11 months ago, and I, I, I went ahead and did it again. I, I left my phone somewhere. Let me pull up the app. Sorry, i got to pull up the app. 11 months ago, and I don't know if you know about this or not, but 11 months ago, we came up with an app. And this app is for us to share acts of kindness. And that was an awesome act of kindness you did. So I can share it right now on this app. I can hit share. And I can push this. See the balloons? You are now you are now one of uh, our goal is to try to get to a million acts of kindness. And we've put kids in charge of this. We put our youth in Albuquerque in charge of this. We're asking everybody, whether it's at work, whether it's your, your school, 
go on the app store on any phone that you have download abq kindness it's a free app you can track acts of kindness you can actually take photographs and do it uh do a more you know uh, robust version of it and share stories or you can just do a random act like i just did um for our, our samaritan today for brianna and uh so far i'm happy to announce we thought it would take about three years to get to a million acts of kindness we're just about a year into it and our community has already uh uh, logged 457,000 uh, acts of kindness. And as we talk about making our place better, and when I say our place, I mean our city, our state, our nation, our world better. Um, so many things you just can't legislate. You just can't legislate being nice to a neighbor. You can't legislate helping somebody out when they need it. Um, but if we can make kindness a habit, if we can just make it a habit every day to get up and think about being kind, um, that is one of the, the things that I think is going to change all of our places um, for the better. So I want to thank Brianna for being such a great leader. So this is what leadership looks like. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are a great leader in our community, and I want to say thank you to you. And I want to have, Doug, are you going to say a couple things sure. and give a few brief remarks, and then I'm going to give you your Good Samaritan Award. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning. Thank you. I just wanted to uh, say a couple of things about um, Chantel. She's one of the teachers in our early child development program. And we've uh, been here before talking about some of the acts of our teachers. And, and they, they uh, really uh, grow to know and love the children that we serve. They come to know them. They recognize things that are going on in their life. Whether they see them on a television as missing and help find them and relocate them to their families, or they see what's going on in a child's life and they recognize that they've made a, a style change and go, what's going on? So they ask the right question and they find out, you know, this person is doing some really amazing things to help other children out. So I just wanted to recognize you, Chantel, for, Chantel, for doing that, just that you're being a part of our program and recognizing the kids. And Brianna, what you do is so, so important. I just, I think you're so brave to do that. I know about a year, about six, eight months ago, um, I shaved my head in support of my little nephew that was having some illnesses. And it was kind of a hard and scary thing to do. And, and for you just to step up and volunteer to do that, I think is really amazing. And so thank you for doing that and supporting another kid that really appreciates it. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. So what this says is this. So this is a Good Samaritan Award. And it says this certificate is being awarded to Brianna Barella. On behalf of the entire city of Albuquerque, I, Richard J. Berry, mayor of Albuquerque, thank you for your dedication to the citizens of our community. You have been granted this award because you have displayed an extraordinary level of care and compassion, caring for your fellow neighbors. So I want you to take this, if you would, and uh, put it in your room at home. And then I want you to, if you would, please tell your friends about what you did and then try to encourage them to do good things as well. So on top of that, we have four tickets for you and your family to the biopark. Have you been to the biopark lately? You seen our new tiger? So there's a, there's some tickets. There's some tickets you can take those. Yeah. Thank you here. No. No. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you. I, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Did you hold that? Okay, you that? Here. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. And, I, and I'll tell you one thing you learn as a mayor is the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. So congratulations to the family. Thank you. You're, you're, you're you know, I always tell people our future is bright because I see the kids in our community and I see what they do. And from the smallest to the, to, to the millennials I talked to this morning at UNM, um, we have some extraordinary young people in our community. And, and I look forward to, to growing old here because uh, we've got a great generation of leaders coming up and, and you're one of them. So thank you so much. Appreciate you all being here today.